What's up, everybody? My name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. And in today's video, we have a special guest specialist, resident specialist, the wall guy. Special guest, special resident. His name is James. Something like that. And you will, in the comments, you will address him as James, because that's a respectful <laughs> thing to do. Now, we're doing this video because overwhelmingly, you asked for this video. You. No, 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 no. You. you. Yeah, not asked you. for this video. But you also said, hey, Vince, you know, when you do the video, can, can you make it a little bit quicker? Yeah. So we decided that we had two more tools to show you, but we were going to break it up into two videos. So in this video, you're going to be getting a first look, a first hand look, unless you're over in the UK. You know what I mean? The, you you might have seen this already. But here in the US, you're gonna be getting a first hand look at the Scrooge driver from the wall. This is their 12 volt extreme comp subcompact series of tools. It's the DCF 601B. Now, it's the wall, of course. It has a quarter inch collet. This is the deal. I think you were wondering, kind of like I was wondering, what's the difference between a screwdriver and a screw? Well, a screwdriver a drill driver or an impact driver? What's the difference? I don't know. Okay. You tell me. Are you serious? You want me to tell you? Yeah. Okay. Instead of having multiple settings, like a one, two, three, four, this screwdriver has a chuck. Chuck. It's Marvin. Your cousin, Marvin Berry. It's got a chuck. No, it's got an adjustable clutch, not a chuck. So it's got a, I like, the, I like the reference to which movie? Leave it down. Do you know what movie that I is? I know exactly what movie it is. Don't, don't give it away. Leave it down in the comments section below if you know which movie that's from. So you have your quarter inch collet, but you have a clutch setting. You have a number of clutch settings with this screwdriver. Now, this is tool only. DeWalt set this over to us for review. In case you're wondering, that means no, we didn't buy it. It was sent to us by DeWalt. Quite frankly, we would have bought it. I'm gonna buy it eventually. It wasn't available here. Not yet. Uh, Fourth quarter this year. Is that right? Fourth quarter? That's what I've heard. All right. So, battery and charger sold separately. They sent this one over Bear Tool. Now, it's got 25% more power and it's 23% shorter. You'll see here, for this impact screwdriver with clutch settings, they are stating it has 200 unit watts out. So that is generally the unit of measure that they use for drill drivers, not impact drivers. Impact drivers are generally done in inch pounds. Found that interesting that they're using 200 watts, unit watts out. It also has a no load speed, which is zero, it, infinitively between zero and 1100 RPMs. The clutch settings, you're getting five, 10, 15 of them, Jimmy. Wow. 15 of them. Drive size is quarter inch. It is quick release. Is it quick insert? We're gonna find out in a second. Tool length, 4.8 inches, and tool weight, one and a half pounds. Yo, pretty light. Pretty light. What's in here? It says screwdriver and belt hook. Screwdriver and belt hook. Do the honors, Jimmy. Knife. This is my power three. I'd, no. rather, I'd rather a Yojimbo. Do you really? I, I yeah. actually told one of the viewers, they were asking, what's your EDC? I was like, power three. I said, but uh, I'm thinking about switching back for a little while, at least to, to, my, to my Yojimbo. I love the Yojimbo. So what do we have in here? We have... Instructions. You know what you do with these? You set them aside so you can read them later. Exactly. Okay, in case you're wondering, these tools setting, sitting here are a drill driver and impact driver from that same DeWalt 12-volt extreme line of tools. Jimmy's not worried about it, but I am. I of course want, I'm worried. I'm always worried. I want my belt clip. So what we have here is a failure to communicate. Is a failure to communicate. Again, very similar to the other uh, extreme drill driver, a metal gear case back here with a plastic clutch engagement, but nicely- Is it plastic? It, it is plastic, but it, it's, it's, it's well stippled for you to be able to change your settings fairly easy. 
quick insert collet here. And very impressively, the three LED lights in the inner ring, as we spoke about before. I will say this, I kind of, I kind of, wow, look at this. It's got a max, max. setting, max setting, which means it's probably just direct through all the way up to 15. It's kind of weird. So it's at max. Oh, okay. So you would start down here at one, one yeah. and then go all the way to 15 settings and then max. So pretty much it's like 16 settings. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. I will disagree with Jimmy on the fact that I don't think that this, this part of the tool, this part of the tool here needs to be metal. I don't know that that has to be metal. Now, I will say this. I don't believe that this part or this part are metal. Either. No? No. What do you think it is? I think it's plastic. Yeah? I, I do. You got a magnet? Hmm. Now this is the deal. Tricky, tricky. It, it, it looks like it could be. Like a, it almost like powder coated. Like though. a powder, like a, some type of aluminum, but it's not. Plastic? Plastic. I don't know that it necessarily, especially for a screwdriver, I don't feel like this necessarily needs to be. No, not for a screwdriver. Metal, it's not a deal breaker for me. No. Would I like to see some metal here? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Here's the deal. We're gonna need a battery. I think we'll just take it right off of the impact. Because quite frankly, if, you're, if, if an impact driver's too much for you, you're probably gonna to move to a screwdriver. Okay, did we get tool only already at the weight? No. So let's do tool only first with the belt clip. You're looking at one pound, 8.8 .8 ounces. So a little over what one and a half pounds. Yes, a little over what they've advertised. All righty, now if we insert the battery, which means that, you know, a lot of people will make the, the bad, Jimmy, come on, Jimmy. It'll make the bad decision to stand this tool up on the job site. Quite frankly, when it comes to 12 volt tools that are per, for precision work, I like, I like a tool that sits down. I will say this, I do like this rubber pad here. Okay, you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, cushions the blow. This is the deal. As a responsible installer, technician, tradesperson, craftsperson, I should set my tool down anyway, me personally. And I shouldn't rely on the tool company to make it so that there's a battery that won't allow the tool to stand up. But I will say, I do like the idea of a 12 volt tool that does not stand up. So do I. But with the battery that allows it to stand and take it, it's easier to get a weight measurement. You're looking at two pounds, 0 0.5 ounces. Still tidy. Read that and weep. Go run and tell that. Homeboy. The height of the tool is 8.44 inches. And here's the deal. A lot of old timers, okay, and even some young timers, cocky young dudes, about a decade ago, maybe a little less, 10 years ago, decade ago, I, I showed up on the job site with my 12 volt tools and they're like, what's that toy? What's that toy? I'm like, this is, these are good tools. They're good to have, they're compact or lightweight, you know, all day long. You know, and what are we, what are we doing here? We're installing, what are we doing? You know, those Make same, it as easy as possible for yourself. Those same guys, not long after, went out and bought the same 12-volt right, tools. they were probably dragging around those giant 18-volt NICADs. Right, listen, this is the deal. 18 volts has its place, but if you don't need all that power, okay, or you're doing precision installs. Make it easy on yourself. Why not go with a 12-volt tool? Huh? Agreed. Okay, width of this screw screw driver is 2.3 inches. And finally, the length of the screw driver is 4.81 inches? For reals? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Jimmy, I gotta tell you, I've not really used, personally, I've not used a screwdriver? I've not used a screwdriver. I've never used one, Ele ever. Electric screwdriver like this. My I've never never used one. My question is, I mean, in theory, I, I like the idea. Should we drive a few screws? I'd like to say it. I will say this. 
here's the deal. This is, this is what makes the difference between this and an impact, even though it has the, a, this quarter inch collet here. Number one, it, let's, see if it's a, uh, let's see if it's a quick install collet, okay? Yes, quick install collet. I'll assume it's like every other collet from the wall where it's quick insert and it has its ball bearing, its retention bearing on the flat of the collet, okay? Which seems to be pretty reliable. Now, here's the, the difference between this, and because everybody's looking at this going, isn't this just an impact driver? No. It's a screwdriver. It doesn't and make impacts. It does not make an, it does not make an impact. It might make an impact on you if you love the tool, but I think we should do a couple of Yeah, pull some screws out. Tests. Some... You want to do the honors, Jimmy? Sure. Let me, let me... I've never used a screwdriver. Now, this is the deal. I have it on speed one. I think we should just drive some screws. In speed one? Well, let's see, let's see what the power's like in speed one, no? Okay, so the clutch is, so you would use speed one for obviously screws, very small screws, half inch screws, three eight screws, five eight screws, very small screws for maybe installing hinges, cabinetry work, stuff like that, okay? Tech work. Tech work. I mean, let's just bump it up to like seven, because that's halfway, that's halfway there, mm -hmm. right? If we pump it up to seven, we can actually drive that screw pretty flush. Yeah. Okay, so pretty powerful. Now, if we go all the way up to max, and this is the deal, like we're not, we're just giving you an example of the power, okay? Inch and five eighths screw. No problem driving that. We'll say this, I'm not loving the fit, fitment. Not bad. Yeah. You want to feel it? I'll, do, I'll take one test you run. You want to take a crack at it, Jimmy? I'll take a test run. Take a crack at it. Now, you're not getting that, you know, you're not getting that impacting. Boom, 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 boom. You're getting more speed. Now, driving inch and five eighths screws into two by fours isn't what this is designed for. No, but it could do it. This is more of a precision tool, but as you can see, it does have the power to drive these screws in the wood. Pretty cool. And if you like having the power to drive screws into wood with a screwdriver, then smash the like button. Also, if this is your first time here and you're not already, get subscribed and tap the bell. With that, I want to say, hey, what do you think of the DCF601 screw driver from the 12 volt extreme line of tools? Do you like it? Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think you're gonna get one? Does it, it have a place in your tool bag? Are you over in Europe? Do you already have this? Are you here in the US? Are you gonna get it when it comes to our shores? Let us know down below. With that, I wanna say, I appreciate every single one of you being here. And Jimmy, I appreciate you being here as well. Thank you, I enjoy being here. We'll see you all on the next one. I was wondering how long you were going to drag that out the next one. You know, it's pretty one. funny. I get some people, they complain, yo, what's with the pauses, long pauses? I just make, you know, I start making the pauses longer and longer. That's what it is. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications throw. What? You're not subscribed yet. Well, smash this button here. After that, Watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.